At this point, I think I'm kind of evolving into a Grandpa Pat. That Grandpa, and he is so honored to be a part of your life. Hi everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Lina Kazawa here, and today I have some, I don't know, kind of like, sort of, kind of sad information to report. You know, the game theory gentleman, Matt Pat. He released a video saying goodbye internet. And you know, sometimes when, uh, when YouTubers do this, you're like, all right, yeah, yeah, like, what do you, what's the, uh, what's the hook, what's the haha? -ha? But uh, it turns out he actually is going into retirement after a 13 year career. I'm just gonna like kind of quickly um, break it down for you. So he is very emotional and he does cry in this video, which is like, it seems very, very sincere. Cause you're just like, usually when a YouTuber retires, you get a little bit concerned. You're like, okay, What's what sex scandal are you doing? Like you know, like what uh, what funds have you embezzled or something like that? But um, generally, he's actually leaving because uh, he feels overworked and he's missing his child growing up. So if if you see him kind of behind in in the in the video here, see the little guy in blue? That's his kid. So um, anyways, uh, it's a very it's very sweet. It's it's very sad. Like uh. You know, I mean, we all know Matt Pat from uh, Game Theory. Essentially, what's going to be happening to the channel is that uh, he's going to be passing it on to some fellow writers that he has already in house, and uh, and some like some other hosts that have kind of like guest starred with him on his channel. They're essentially going to just be the hosts going forward. There is going to be a ten video countdown, and then they're going to have like one big final party, and then then Matt Pat is uh, you know going off into the sunset. Um, he does mention in his video that uh, he keeps calling himself Grandma Grandpa. He's like, oh yeah, I'm a I'm a YouTube Grandpa, but he's only 37 years old. So like like it's just kind of an odd. Uh, <laughs> it's like, dude, you're not that old. Like freaking chill. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's not like you're a hockey player and you're like, my bones, my bones are breaking. <laughs> so you're a YouTuber. It's fine. But anyways, um, I thought that was like a little bit weird. I'm like, dude, like, I get it. I get it. Like, um, wanting to like see your kid grow up. Uh, like, I get that. Like, I feel like I think he's a millennial. Um, I feel like millennials do care a little bit more about their children than past generations. So like, they want to be present and, uh, you know, involved in their kid's life. And that, that is kind of nice. That is, that's very, very admirable so like you can't really be mad at him for that um and then also uh he's, he is going to be returning for some one-offs but of course you know obviously this gentleman built a brand and uh he's obviously going to be collecting residual which is, how, which is how he's going to maintain his lifestyle moving forward right because uh you know i don't think he's just going to hand off the keys to somebody else and be like all right thank you thanks for the money bye like i'm sure he's gonna stick around for for the moolah um, but anyways in this video he does say something kind of like odd where he's saying i'm gonna get raked through the coals for for crying or you know, I, I didn't really get that part of the video so i don't know if he's like obviously if you invested 13 years of your life into something you're gonna be a little bit emotional about it so um it's kind of uh it's it's interesting to see when youtubers do decide to kind of retire mostly because it's it's like a it's a career it's a relatively new career path that like we don't really see right when the invention of youtube right we're following these creators we're kind of you know seeing them have crow's feet and grown old together right and then like to see them leave like how does a youtuber actually retire like i don't know if it's been done i mean like it kind of has it kind of have it anyways he's not going to be gone forever he will come back and pop in but it's just like he's like oh yeah i'm gonna go vacation in florida i'm like dude you are not an 80 year old grandpa like please calm down sir um <laughs> it's just that was just so weird like he kept mentioning how old he was in his video and like old is really just like a mindset you know what i mean like age is just a number um i don't know if he's kind of getting into his own head there but um anyways guys so he is He's heading off and uh, it's going to be sad because, you know, he made some very good content over the years. It's sad to see like your parasocial buddy leaving, right? Because, uh, you know, you grew up with this guy. Maybe if you had rough times and you watched his videos, they made you happy. They made you smile. So in this video, he does he does credit his fans a lot for he's like, thank you so much for, you know, giving me like the life that um, I, you know, I always wanted. And thank you so much for letting me be part of your life. So like he does seem genuinely kind and genuinely nice. And it's refreshing to see that there isn't some sort of like sex scandal or money scandal tied to this i mean not that we know of but like i don't i don't know matt pat well enough i mean here's the thing um there's so many quote-unquote nice guys it's hard to know like if they're actually nice like you don't even know anymore like 
like think like i feel like sometimes the internet just goes off the rails completely uh with perception of who you think is that person and then turns out they're you know um doing unsavory things but anyways long story short for what we know at this at the time of the release of this video it seems like he's a genuinely nice guy who's just maybe a bit burnt out and a bit tired who's just retiring so he can see his family grow up i just um i mean the only thing i hope he doesn't do it, like a lot of people who do retire from from youtube they mark all, everything to private and it's as if they never existed i think that hurts the fans the most because you if you invested 13 years of your life for it to all just be deleted that kind of sucks so it doesn't seem like he's doing that it seems like he's moving forward and you know um with new hosts and whatever we'll see how that turns out most of the time when you have new people take over they don't really have the essence of you because that's the you and youtube right it's you anyway so we're gonna we'll see how this all pans out but long story short i thought this was kind of like a big deal so i thought i'd tell you guys about it and you know we'll see if he you know comes back or if he's actually like laying out in the sun in florida but hey that's just a theory <laughs> okay guys thank you so so much for watching um let me know in the comments below what did you think of uh, matt pat's goodbye video did you like it did you hate it are you sad to see him still go or are you saying good riddance let me know in the comments if you like what you see hit that subscribe button give me a like and a share likes are very important for my channel it's because my tiny channel exposure and i need your help to defeat retirement so like my stuff if you want to watch me on twitch i stream on tuesdays and thursdays 7 p.m eastern standard time twitch.tv slash super underscore dorkalicious. All right, everyone. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching the video. Shout out to my patrons that help make these videos possible. If you want to help support the channel, you can always join my Patreon, subscribe to me on Twitch, or become a member on YouTube. I also have links to merch in the description below. As always, I appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah!